Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Shark Green Jr. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Stormbow in Black Ops 2 Dura Eisendrake. So, first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the Wrath of the Ancients, which I couldn't show you how to do in a different video. And you're going to go up here and you're going to want to shoot this Weather Vane. Once you shoot this Weather Vane, these, uh, this broken arrow is going to pop out of the wall and you're going to want to pick it up. Once you pick it up, you're going to want to run over here. Um, and you're going to want to shoot at this bonfire right here. If you just follow the same shot that I take, that should be good. Um, you should be able to hit the bonfire pretty easily. Um, that's the easiest one of the three. So now we're going to head over to Double Tap. And over here above Double Tap, you can see that there is there's another bonfire to hit. Right over... Well, you can go over here too. And... So you're going to want to shoot, pretty much line it up with the tippy top of that mountain there. And you're just going to want to shoot so that you're vertically lined up with the bonfire pile and that you're horizontally lined up with the tip of, top of that mountain. Um, so yeah, now you're going to head down into double tap and you're going to want to line yourself up right with the corner of this room. And you're going to want to shoot just above this tree right where my crosshairs are. You're going to want to fire a single shot. And that's going to help you get the one down at rocket pad without having to pay for it. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to come down to uh, Undercroft and you're going to want to try this wall run over here. So the way that you do this wall run is very simple. All you have to do is you have to wall run over each one of these, how should I say, each one of these panels. Um, and over each one of these panels you're going to hear a sound that sounds like you're pushing a stone into a wall and it's going to sound like it's sliding into the DMs. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump up from here, up into there. And now that you're wall running, you're going to want to wall run all the way around this entire area and push in all five of these things. So the way that you push in all five of them is you just got to wall run over each one in a single wall run. If you do fall, you're going to have to restart uh, the wall run. And yeah, you should hear a gong sound almost when you're done. And then you can start the next step. Um, for this next step, what you're going to need to do is it doesn't matter what order you do these in, but you're going to need to do the urns. So I do the rocket first, and what you're going to want to do is open up the door, get enough points, and then go down to rocket pad. Once you go down to the rocket pad, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to fill up this urn with souls, and the way that you're going to do that is you're going to kill zombies near it. You need to kill a total of five zombies near this urn, and as you can see, their souls go into it. So now that it's full, you got to line up your arrow, and get a charge shot and you're, I'm just showing you here you gotta charge your bow and then walk up to it and your bow will have lightning on the end of it after. So now what you wanna do is you wanna line it up right there and you wanna take that shot and boom there you go you got it. So once you've hit that bonfire you're gonna wanna come upstairs and you're gonna wanna come back upstairs you're gonna wanna come and you wanna get five more zombies into this next turn. Once you get five zombies into this turn you're gonna wanna hit another shot and it's basically going to be the same for these next two arms. So yeah, um, as you can see here, I'm just shooting these zombies, and I actually end up putting six into it. Um, you only need five though. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pull out my bow. I'm going to charge my shot. I'm going to walk outside here. This zombie decided no. Lucas, stay in the room. You're not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go back outside, and we're going to hit this bonfire like that. As you can see there, I hit it. It should look like that. It should be a fire tornado with lightning around it. And then, so, yeah. So now we're going to go for our final bonfire, and this will be the last step we need to do. Well, second last, if you count this last. The last last step. Um, and it's going to be, we're going to have to fill up this final urn and hit the final shot. Um, yeah. So I'm just showing you guys where it is in this video, and here we go. So I've got my zombie shit here. So now you're going to need five more zombies. So there's one. And here comes Mr. Two. And now I had a dog drone, so I just went ahead and skipped that for you guys, so you'd have to watch that. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go on to the part where I go ahead and get a shot. No, I'm just kidding. I have to wait still, because I haven't got any zombies. 
Um, but yeah. So it by the way, the you do need regular zombies, secure. zombie dogs, or hellhounds, or as whatever you want to call them. I they suffer. do not work. They do not give me. you any souls. This guy's going way too fast. Here I get six zombies or like five zombies, like super collateral. So here I just I went ahead and hit the shot in the middle of the round. You can wait till the end of the round. You don't have to do it at like a specific time. Um, but yeah. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go pick up your reforged arrow. Once you pick up your reforged arrow, you are going to want to head down to Undercroft. And the way that you pick up your reforged arrow is you're going to go right here. You're going to hold X right on this as I do. And that's going to take the broken arrow and it's going to bring it up to the top of the weather vane. And it's going to start spinning around a bunch. While it's spinning around, you just need to wait for it and you need to survive. Um, while waiting for this arrow to drop down, you can just go ahead and pick it up. It doesn't take long. Um, yeah, so pick it up, and then you need to head down to Undercroft as I do here. Um, so, as you can see here, there are four boxes. You're going to want to put it in the one with the white one. You get a max ammo, and also something that you guys should note is you guys need to put in a lot more zombies than this. I just went and skipped through this so you guys don't have to watch it. And also, one other thing is go ahead and take your time, go as slow as you need to. And then once you've done that, you're gonna put your you're gonna put your bow into there and get a decent weapon so you can survive for a little while. And there you go, you have your lightning bow. Um, but yeah, so it will take your uh, will take your gun or will take your bow, and it'll turn into a lightning bow. So yeah, that was how to make the storm bow. And if you guys would like to see any more, uh, please like comment, favorite, subscribe, whatever the heck you want to do. Uh, subs would be really appreciated. You guys can go check out my friend Caden's channel. I will link him down in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.